So, the School of Nursing and Midwifery is here. In this building, it's an absolute this is the old dance building, it's a midwifery building, but we are involved in the education of society here. We do have a training centre of all the midwifery uh, events so that they have, and there are all our trained staff are up there. We do have a school, but there's no building that is meant for someone like that. Uh, this building will only be here for a whole day, and we'll be doing a lot of dance. So, uh, and all our skills are up there. So it's a very nice location here, very near the Lewis, all the things are right in the centre of town. So, today I'm really going to hopefully give you just an overview on what a midwife does and what midwifery is all about. And just some of these pictures here depict that it's a lovely, healthy baby, pregnant women, and that's what our job is very much about. So when we look at the word midwife, what does it mean? all about being with woman. When we look at the philosophy of midwifery, it's very much about the raw mind. A child comes to a child on the screen with more than nine children. And as a midwife, we facilitate women with this whole pregnancy and birth experience. Uh, the focus of the practice is uh, pregnant women and their families and offering women centered clinical care. So we do this So it's all about uh, partnership. So the midwife and the, and the woman, we work in partnership and it's fundamental. And the skills that the midwife will use to provide the baby is individual to each woman. And that recognizes that the whole pregnancy and birth experience belongs to the woman, to the mother's heart. We facilitate. They own their birth. They own their birth experience. They own their baby. And I suppose I'm very good relationship with the women. So the whole philosophy underpinning midwifery is normality, not sickness, not illness. It's all about being centered around the woman, respect, partnership, the woman is first, um, evidence-based. That's really important that all the care that we provide for women now is of the best evidence and that the research is supporting our practices. And on board balcony, she, they, they would come from on board balcony. And on board balcony, my um, registration with on board Alchemish up every single year. So midwifery is concerned with, we're all about protecting and promoting normality of childbirth. And that, I would say now, that's even a bigger challenge for us because our training centre now is on Garda, on Garda. And if any midwife, we will already be prepared. So promoting that normality and practice of childbirth uh, normal. Something that 
we need to strive and continue to do. And in the, within the role of the midwife, it's very important that we know what's normal, but we as a midwife, looking after the baby, that's the way we can control the baby and the baby. And that has to be one of the qualities that you have in dealing with normal, but when something is abnormal, and also be able to carry out emergency uh, issues. As a midwife, you work very much closely within the multidisciplinary team that you have obstetricians, anaesthetists, paediatricians, all that, while you work on your own, but you're still very part of a multidisciplinary team. So what sort of care do midwives offer? So the two hospitals that are attached to Trinity College are the Coombe Women and Infant Neurology Hospital and the Infirmary Hospital. But we have all the lots of other systems in Trinity College that are in the midwife. The students who are in Again, we work in partnership with the obstetricians and other members when women experience complications. And women will experience complications or have a complication before their pregnancy. And those are the ones that we need to think about as well. So we insist on that woman and the risk that she takes in her mother's life. And so we care for that that woman and how they're both protected and safe, but also how to have a good life if that happens that day. So antenatally then, all, once a woman is becomes pregnant and she decides where she's booking into the rotunda of the comb, all the care that she receives from once she's pregnant until she goes into labour is antenatal care by a midwife. So that involves regular assessment of the woman and her baby's well-being. We don't just look at physical, we're very much involved in the psychological and the emotional support that we offer these women. The relationship is built between a, a woman and a midwife. And if I see my same team of uh, women during my, their pregnancy, at by the end they know me very well and I know them very well. So the relationship is developed and, and, and uh, uh, able to uh, progress. Also very important to, to share information and educate women. So that could be on anything like we talk about health promotion and health education. And I suppose that, that would be a big part of the midwife role would be health promotion and health education. Because remember these women generally are healthy. Preparation for labour and childbirth. Most women want to know about what's going to happen in labour and childbirth and maybe not so much interest in what's going to happen for when they become a mother of parenthood. They often find that there be needs, that their, those needs are addressed afterwards. But it's also a very important postnatal care. So all women expect that they're going to have a safe, uh, the mother is going to be safe and the baby will be safe. And a very important thing for women is they want to have a forgiving Postnatal care then to be able to adapt to the role as a, a new mother and all the responsibilities that are involved with caring for a new baby, to monitor the, both the mother and the baby's uh, well-being, to uh, promote and monitor the woman's psychological well-being. And I suppose mental health issues are something that we're very much more aware of now. And again, we see women increasingly in our own suffering from postnatal depression. So it's very important that as midwives we recognise that and make sure that they're able to get the necessary help that they need. As a midwife, we are very pro-breastfeeding and it's very important that we would support women to be able to successfully breastfeed their baby and also for good family relationships. Um, the program that we offer is, um, as I may not have said, in this first program we offer 2006, I was the author of that first program. And one of the things that we have to be very proud of here is that we integrate Very many hospitals, all the different 
So that kind of gives you an idea of the four-year plan. The yellow is the college that they get the same thing. So for example, the first uh, six weeks there you can get into yellow, that's the day you get the job to the the college for the six the six weeks of the The red then will be three four places of work, which will be the young person placement, which will be the labor and delivery placement, and will be the full time placement. And in year two and year three you'll still be some of those places, but you're also required to go to At the moment, students are getting the summer off. I don't know what's going to happen down the road with this whole refugee program. Um, I think we're probably all very aware that there's a lot of pressure in all of the schools and especially in the universities at the moment. But that's what we're running at the moment. That just gives you an idea from antenatal to the labour and birth and again very much of the whole parenthood that women are confident and competent in looking after their baby. Women want individualised care, they want continuity of care, consistency of advice, accurate information, and they want skilled help and emotional support from their midwife. Why come to Trinity? Well, I think Trinity has a very good record in relation to our programmes and in relation to the, this midwifery programme that we offer, and it's ranked as one of the top 100 in terms of international excellence. The four-year degree program, this program is delivered between the age of 17 and the age of 100. And I'm just going to say to you that another thing that would be unique about our program is that when you go to your clinic for placement, you don't go to the one to decide what a man to carry. It is important that your women don't get to have babies and want to decide what a man to carry. So we're very, of the opinion very strongly that students are exposed as early as possible to 24 hours.
unless you go into something else. So once the four years is over, you'll be able to register as a, with a board also as a, a midwife and you'll have a midwifery degree here. They're the two hospitals. Uh, we consider education in this college, in this uh, school to be lifelong and reflect the knowledge and skills required to inform, practice and contribute to the advancement of the profession. And the changing needs of society are changing all of the time. <coughs> the curriculum that we offer, it's a pathway for personal and professional development and it seeks to, to enable students to fulfil their potential. And there's a variety of teaching uh, and learning uh, methods used so that students become articulate, inquisitive practitioners capable of problem solving, analysis, reflection on practice is a big thing that we promote in fourth year. And students are, are respected and valued as adults and in their pursuit of personal and professional development, they are guided, supported and facilitated by educators through a caring and responsive curriculum that we offer. As I said here, the first three years, both in the university and in the maternity hospitals, and the fourth year is the internship. So there's a variety of subjects that we offer here. There's the whole midwifery practice. Biology and psychology are done in year one, and they're, they're, they're the only two modules that are shared with general nursing. All of the other modules and subjects are delivered purely just as midwifery students. So the health promotion, research, sociology, um, all of those um, uh, topics. Once you register as a midwife, the warrant is yours. You can go on to do postgrad education, you could do a master's, you could do a PhD, you could go into research, some midwives do that, or you could, as I have gone into education. So I suppose for me, this is a very uh, uh, poignant statement. I've been a midwife, it's the kind of privilege to stand so close to such an incredible miracle as childbirth, and, and childbirth is a miracle. And no matter how many births you've been there, or I've been at, every day, So I hope to see you in September, and if you have any questions. The point for the entrance to the college is that the four hundred and four is gone. Not that it's going to be four hundred and four again, it's just one that's gone. And if it's over four hundred and four, definitely not. But some people know of four hundred and four being all of them gone.